I'm here on the west side of Manhattan. Welcome to Paul Allison's Weblogs, Wikis and Feeds, Oman. Want to check in? It's the 5th of March, 2007. And, uh, I'll be riding my bike in this podcast, this video cast. And I uh, have a few things to talk about. So I re-entered the world of web design, different than it used to be. I want to talk about that a little bit. Some things about Joomla and Google Apps. So I, uh, I just spent some time this weekend looking up Google Apps for my school. ESCHS.org. Hi, dot org. There you go. Dot net. ESCHS dot net. And uh, so yeah, I want to talk about that a little bit. Kind of excited about the possibilities. Haven't run into too many bugs. A few here and there. Yeah, and they're irritating, but uh, it's a pretty exciting project. And another project. We're finally pulling it together for um, the New York City Writing Project, kind of figuring out what kind of website we want to have uh, to represent my NYCWP.net, I guess. Now, uh, you know, there is an official brochure website controlled by the powers that be, and my opinion is that one should still exist and should thrive. And should even thrive off of what we produce at my.nyc.nycwp.net. Um, but you know, there's room for both, is, is how I'm thinking about it. Um, decided to uh, put up a Joomla site. The uh, thinking behind it was that I didn't want to get into all the intricacies of either WordPress or um, Drupal. And so Eric Hoffler in Northern Virginia, the Northern Virginia Writing Project, has been uh, talking about promoting, thinking about Joomla. So I thought I'd join his community. And uh, it's worth noting what the, how that decision was was made. Um, it wasn't made by a committee. It's made by me. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm getting a committee together to help do it, uh, and I hope they take over more and more of the responsibilities uh, of the site. Um, but I chose it based on ease of, of uh, setting it up in, the, uh, in uh, DreamHost. DreamHost is our, uh, our host, and uh, it's a one-click easy kind of thing to do in DreamHost. So, so yeah, the technical uh, ease of it was certainly one part of why I decided to use this. Another big part, though, was the connection with Eric. Uh, I kind of like being able to copy what he's done and show him what we do and build together. So, yeah, those are two really important reasons for choosing a piece of open source software to use to build your site. Is it easy enough for a lot of people to get involved in using it with you? And is there already a community of builders who will support you in implementation? You know, did I know what I was getting into totally? No. Uh, are there 
uh, lots of things to learn, yes, and other plenty of questions, yes, you know, about policy and how to implement this thing. But uh, pretty excited. There's also a uh, developing vision, I think, around the site what it might be for the writing project. One of those, one of the pieces of that vision is that the site will be a, a place where we can teach our colleagues in the writing project, who aren't geeks at all, how to think about using Web 2.0 tools interactive tools to to get the story out on on the web. The story of their classrooms, the story of their questions, their struggles, the issues of being a teacher, a writing teacher in the New York City public school systems. Um, and I think I think that this site can be that already. So we need to think about launching it in a, a workshop, really, how to use this site. Well, if I haven't mentioned already, I'm the master of redirect now. So the site can be reached at my.nycwp.net or at nycwp.net. Eventually, we should redirect nycwp.org over there, too. Um, so, yeah, um, uh, I don't know, you know, there's a question of who should be publishing on the site. I think that's a great question to be asking. My default is everybody. Anybody who wants to call themselves a writing project teacher can publish there. <laughs> and we'll see if there's a problem with that. You know, I... I think we should also commission people, ask people, require people to publish there too. Now one first thought, and this is part of the vision, is that the consultants, the teacher consultants, when they meet each week, three of them will pull off and uh, tell their stories that they're telling each other. Yeah, little, little three paragraphs on the, uh, on the website. Yeah, there's a button on the on this template that we're using for the website that says blog, but it brings up just a reconfigured news items. There's no place to respond to the news items. And I think that's fine. It's not a blog. Um, the idea of starting another New York City Writing Project blog bores me. Um, it doesn't bore me. It just feels like too much. Why not get people starting to post more on Teachers Teaching and Teachers? I think we could take that to think about that more, perhaps. So oh, perhaps that's enough about that. I uh, I really loved what Madeline Brownstone put up there, and uh, a couple of links I was able to add to what Susan Entenheim put up. I think it's really making our work visible, and that's the goal, I think. And frankly, I, I think that the link to the blog should be a link to Teachers Teaching Teachers, and get people involved there. Um, Why well, reproduce a lot of that?